So I had a lot of people ask me about some of the details on this machine in, in the previous video with Chad, but this is Chad again in our Tiger Cat 726 uh, rubber tire buncher. It's a uh, 2007 model uh, machine and we bought it last year, which would have been 2015. It had um, a little over 10,000 hours on it. It's got over 11,000 hours on it now. Just uh, an incredible machine. Does an a very good job we've we had three John Deere's prior to this 843's and uh, they they wouldn't touch what this machine would do now the new John Deere's they may I don't know I've never been on one of the newest ones so I can't I can't say yes or no on them but this machine is just so it's a lot heavier just a lot stronger a lot more powerful machine uh, in the 5702 head i cannot say enough you see chatty's picked this top this broke top up and bunching it back with the trees right there but i just can't say enough about that 5702 head compared to like the the 22 inch john deere head there's it's it's not even in the same ballpark but just a really good machine and we don't run this machine with on our main crew hardly at all we are right here because we were starting this job and chad was helping Derek cut but this this job right here was cut in march and this is the last time that this machine has been on our main job we've used it doing some of the storm cleanup and are actually starting a new storm cleanup job um right now too that we that we picked up we're gonna kind of do it on the side also but um it's the machine the the visibility you can see this is being shot with a gopro right here the visibility out the front of it is just really really good too i like the big front glass the inverted front windshield and and all that um just really good visibility it's a it's a comfortable machine to run because of the, the weight of it and the stability of it and and all that but like i said it that machine usually stays you know somewhere else not on our main job that we cut you know day after day so i took the audio off of this video because i failed to tell chad not to cut the emfm up in the machine and he did which was no big deal so there's some uh music and I went ahead and just deleted the audio off so I wouldn't get no uh, copyright claim on me. So I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to put some non-copyrighted music on and let it play. So uh, I'll be good. We'll see y'all.